This is the sweetest, best single ingredient out of all the ones I've done over the last year and a half or so. This is by far the best stuff. This is, it tastes like, like they added sucralose or something to this. It is sweeter than sugar. Welcome to Price Plow. Hey, what's up, Price Plow Nation? This is Mike Roberto, founder of Price Plow. And it's time to get back to a few different ketone and blood sugar tests for myself here. One of the things that's been asked in the past that I've always wanted to know is what happens to, your, to my blood sugar, really, if I take a glycerol-based supplement. So I have Performax Labs' Glycermax here, which each serving is 45 servings total. Each serving has two grams of glycer pump. Now, Glycer Pump is a newer form of glycerol that we're really liking in other supplement formulations because it's 65% glycerol by weight, but it doesn't seem to clump as bad as some of the other ingredients. Now, when this all started, uh, Glycerol Monosterate was actually the main glycerol-based ingredient, but that actually only has 25% glycerol by weight, the stearic acid molecule, which is actually a saturated fat and may actually be okay for keto dieters. Uh, that actually, first off, it like balls up real nasty and everything gets on the side of your shaker cup, but also it clumps so bad. Like the, the, shake, the, the product just didn't last with it. But what about this? And so what's cool about this product is that you can, it's a standalone straight ingredient one. You can add it to your pre-workout. You can add it to whatever. Uh, glycerol is often used as a form of hyperhydration, like for endurance athletes. So they take like a very large dose of glycerol if they can handle it. Then they can absorb more water and it gets more uh, basically cellular swelling where between the intercellular spaces, you get more fluid retention, which can be good for athletic purposes or for our vanity purposes. People get a good pump on in the gym and then it eventually can dissipate and you'll urine it out and everything. But in the meantime, a lot of people love that water pumps that we call it. And so it's, it's what's known as an osmolite. Anyway, let's open this bad boy up right here and see what happens. I guess first off, we should start off with my, you know, I want to look at it. I'm really curious. We'll, we'll start, we'll get my uh, blood sugar going and everything, but I actually haven't ever seen glycerol oh, as a standalone ingredient. And it really looks like right there, it's pretty much a white fluffy powder. It's way more fluffy than I thought. So what's different about, we have a whole blog post on glycer pump. Don't need to get into it here, but what's different between this one and, and if I really, really cared about doing a straight glycerol based review, yeah, I'd go get some liquid glycerol, but that's not what's typically in, this, in the supplements that we take because they are powdered supplements. So glycer pump's a little different. We have a blog post, we can link, link back to it. But basically I think it's a sprayed, it's sprayed onto a surface and dried like that. And that's how a lot of like the MCT oil powders are done. And uh, this one seems to have a different type of substance it's sprayed with. We don't really, I don't really know what though. And uh, it's way more fine and powdery. Oh, but it's like kind of get that gumminess to it too. It's got, it's a way more fine powder than I expected. Now, what I want to say is glycerol is actually, it's, it's unique because it's like more like a sugar alcohol than anything. It's not really carbohydrate. It's kind of a carbohydrate, but not fully a carbohydrate or a fat, but it's, it's used in, in the body naturally as an intermediate and as a backbone for other things. So really unique, really unique compound, but in, as far as supplementing it, not really sure what, what, you know, what to call it how many calories it provides and all that. So let's just see what my blood sugar does. Starting blood sugar, I'm 15 and a half hours fasted. Fucking shit. Okay, that's too high. Shouldn't eat those chocolate chips. Those chocolate chips just kill me. Why is my blood sugar so high? All right, let's start over tomorrow. Hey folks, let's try that again. I came in with way too high of a blood uh, blood sugar number yesterday, and I'm thinking that I had the glycerol like all over the place. It might have gotten in there, or I just had a bad day, so I didn't want to start. I should have retaken another test, because sometimes these test strips do screw up. Either way, we're keeping the intro of this video, and let's just do day one right now. 97, that's a little bit better, more like it at least. And now, Let's check out our ketones. All right, 0 0.5 just on the cusp of ketosis. I can tell my blood sugar is in the 90s. It's not gonna be crazy high keto, and that's fine. I've been tinkering with the diet a little bit. We need to do this more on a daily basis, I think. So I need to get my food scale, and we are gonna go normally, so normally with the amino acids, I do five grams at a time. That's a huge dose for, for glycerol. 
What I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna start with a three gram dose, which is still a big dose compared to uh, what they put in the supplements. We've seen bigger. Recently on our blog, we covered one with four grams. All right, let's show this real quick. I packed it as tight as I could and I have three grams. If three grams works out, we're gonna go to five grams, but really two to three gram range is really what we care about. So 97 and 0 0.5, let's see how this goes. I packed this, so this scoop's supposed to hold two grams. It's really a tight packing powder. So I packed it as tight as I can. Now we gotta deal with getting it out of the thing and uh, we'll be whacking this on my teeth here. Let's see how this tastes. Mm. Mm. This stuff tastes downright fantastic. This is the sweetest, best single ingredient out of all the ones I've done over the last year and a half or so. This is by far the best stuff. This is, it tastes like, like they added sucralose or something to this. It is sweeter than sugar. There's no way this stuff doesn't have a little bit of a blood sugar impact. It's, it's just got to. Wow. Okay. Well, if I'm a supplement formulator, I'm looking to cheat with an ingredient to actually add to the taste as well as uh, sweetness and get some uh, actual uh, benefit out of the ingredient and they don't care about blood sugar spiking because I'm thinking this is going to give me a little bit of spike. I'd be adding some glycer pump. So uh, th yeah, wow, th this is fantastic. Right off the bat, if anyone's interested in glycerol, I would suggest this product just out of taste alone. But let's uh, come back in 45 minutes. I'll get the timer started and then we will uh, see what happened. I'm thinking I'm going to be a little bit above 100. Ketones, will they stop though? I don't know. It's only three grams. We'll find out. All right, 45 minutes. We're back. Posted a little contest promotion. Keeping things rolling as always here. Never any rest. Okay, sometimes some rest. We were at 97. Whoa! All right, that's more than I expected. I mean, it was sweet. It was crazy sweet. It might have a little bit eaten sugar. It's like sugar with with a little bit of a water pump effect for your for your muscles here. I gotta expect I'm gonna see a 0 0.4 here, even though my fast is kind of continuing and my body should be you know, hopefully getting some ketones generated as I'm burning fat, but maybe I had to work on this glycer pump instead. This is funny. <laughs> oh, dang. All right. Do I even need to do a second test? I think we should get this video up here. Here's what's funny. If you're, again, the taste was so good. Like seriously, if you're not a keto dieter, you don't give a shit about your blood uh, sugar numbers or anything like that. I gotta recommend that you get this because it can it might be able to flavor over some of the more sour stuff and add a little bit of sweetness to it while uh, while giving you some of the pump effects. The the questions I have now are like, what is glycer pump sprayed against, and would I get the same kind of effects with a uh, with a straight like glycerol based uh, liquid or you know, the, com the competing glycerols, such as glycerol monosteria, which I would need a lot more of to get the same effective dose, or the glycer, uh, what's the other one, Hydromax, which is bound to silica, would that behave differently? So as it stands right now for 98, whatever, how many percent of people are keto dieting at this point? 3% of the world? I don't know. Um, for 97% of the, the people out there, I do price plot approve this ingredient just to taste alone. But yeah, for keto dieters or anyone who's really cautious about your blood sugar, man, I would say like a gram max or whatever. And at that point, you might not feel a ton. Uh, typically, you want to drink a lot of water with this stuff. But yeah, Glycer Max kind of failed, but kind of passed at the same time. So everyone else who's not a keto dieter, check this stuff out. As for everyone else who's a keto dieter, yeah, you might want to try to find something else for your pumps. This one may not be the most keto friendly. Mike Roberto with Price Plus signing out. Had some fun with this one. And uh, next time, and yeah, don't get this stuff in your blood sugar monitor. I'm almost sure that this is the stuff that was actually uh, messing up my blood sugar score yesterday. So there we have it. Crazy. Welcome to Price Plus.